Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Senior Vice President and General Manager of Global Business Unit, Lisa Su. put to use in the service of creating a real holodeck-like experience. We thought that it was best to have LeVar join us today because we believe one of the technologies that really inspires the future of technology is around how do we make the holodeck real. So, LeVar, are we getting close? And you are getting really, really close. We, we talked uh, a year ago about a 10-year window. I, I think you may be inside of that window. All right, so tell you what, I have a lot of stuff I want to go through with this audience, but we'll make sure that we talk about this roundhouse a little bit later on. Will you hang out with us? I will stick around. All right, thank you, LeVar. Okay. Uh, 
this is the most immersive demo I've ever played with. It is the HD prototype of the Oculus Rift, and our partners over at Gen Audio have developed a technology called Astound Sound, which allows for 3D audio in your standard gaming headset. So I really encourage everyone to come over, put the headset on, put on the Oculus Rift, and try out this amazing demo. You can truly hear sound all around you. So Oculus Rift is a very personal demo. So you've got it, there's gonna be a lineup there, I, I assume. We set this up actually at, at the office back in Markham, and there was a lineup of four hours of people uh, putting on this headset. And when I did it, there's a, uh, there's a roller coaster demo, and you put it on, and you, you have to have like a, something behind you because you start to, to move with it. And now what we've added there is not only the fact that when you move and you see um, the, the, the world around you moving, the sound now with true audio can move around you also. It makes it an extremely immersive, really cool experience. So that's something you should check out. And finally, I want to update you on Mantle. We were, we were honored to have DICE help launch Mantle with us um, earlier in Q4. And now I'd like to update you. We now have three game engines. A Sur engine, Nitrous engine, Frostbite pre-engine, five developers, and more than 20 games in development with Mantle. That's very, very significant. I'm really excited about that. And what the most important thing, though, is to see it in action. And so now what I'd like to show you is the world premiere, the first time ever, is Battlefield 4 running on Mantle. based on HSA, heterogeneous systems architecture, and other compu powerful computing technologies. And after hanging out in Surround House today, and, and really experiencing the way sound tracks, that's such an important part of the immersive experience, and how you interact with the, with the sonic environment, I think you might be inside of that 10-year window. Can you tell me a little bit about what our guys did to you for the last couple of hours in the Surround House? <laughs> So what did they show you? Well, it, it, it's, it's, it's amazing because in a 360 degree environment, you're actually controlling those monsters and you're, you're controlling the volume, you're controlling where they move across the dome. And it, it really is, it's, it's remarkably impressive. But my friend, it's the first ever 360 gesture demo. Wow, it, it really is impressive. I can't, you guys have to go see it. I have to go experience it. 
their stuff. It's really, it's out of this world. Well, Lord, did they let you move the monsters? They did let me move the monsters. <laughs> did they listen to you? Uh, the monsters did listen to me. I'm the, you know, chief engineer of the Enterprise. Yeah. <laughs> My friend, um, I feel like I can't come up here mm -hmm. without talking a little bit about the technology that's around us. Look, from chief engineer to chief engineer, I want you to tell us what it is you guys have done and what you've got in there that's uh, making it happen. This is, um, again, I, I have to say, this is one of our proudest moments as a company to be able to bring all of these technologies together. And we have amazing technology. When you go in, you'll see the amazing graphics, the 360-degree rendering, the beautiful monsters in a, in a dome side shape. They are being run by a Fire Pro graphics card. Not many want a Fire Pro graphics card. When you look at the monsters, and you look at the gesture control and how we're able to move them around and how the conductor, you know, Lenny and, and maybe, you know, Mr. Sorta Conductor <laughs> Lavar does, <laughs> Um, you will see that running on an AMD A10 APU. Not many AMD A10 APUs. One AMD A10 APU. And the way we do that is with the compute architecture that we have running OpenCL and able to really take the compute power of both the CPU and the GPU to really get all that capability. In addition to that, on the audio side, you were talking about the audio. What's really neat is when you move the monsters around, you actually see the sound moving around. So, you know, the xylophone moves over, the trumpet moves over. That is possible with our AMD True Audio technology. It's powering on Kaveri, the 32.4 uh, speaker capability. And you truly see the power of the technology. When I said at the beginning of this, Surround computing is our vision. Right. I wanted to bring this out. I wanted to show it as a, as a cool thing. But the main point I didn't want to get across is it's today's technology that's going to get us there. Right. So, I, I think that the fact that you are making this this technology, the Kaveri and, and other technologies available to developers all over the world, I believe it's going to help us get to that real holiday even faster. Okay.